Hi there. Today let's discuss a very important topic that is Power Platform Solutions. As you all are aware, there is an important feature available out there in Power Platform that is Solutions, right? And we all know we usually get this requirement of moving the solutions or the uh, applications from one environment to different environments. For example, moving it from development environment to UAT environment and from UAT to prod, right? So here, let's today let's discuss how we can deploy these solutions across multiple different environments, right? Let's move to the screen and explore. Okay, so here I'm into Power Platform Studio. Okay, so as you can see on the left hand side, we have this solution option available, correct? So here I'm gonna go ahead and create a new solution. Let's name this as solution demo. And for by default, there will be two publishers available. There is default publisher and CDS default publisher. You can choose any one if you want, but recommend is default publisher. Okay. You can uh, leave the version as it is and go ahead and create it. Okay. So my solution is created right now. Okay. And as you can see in the left side, there are many options like apps, cards, cloud flows, copilots, tables. Tables are nothing but over here is our data walls tables. Okay. So let me go ahead and add one of my applications which I want to export it as a solution. Right. So I'm going to choose my canvas app. So there are two options available over here, right? From Dataverse and outside Dataverse. You can see a few of the uh, app available over here and few of them are available over here, right? So this is nothing but uh, from Dataverse means this application uses Dataverse as their uh, data source, okay? And this application doesn't use data sources as Dataverse, okay? So I'm gonna select one of my application that is test2, okay? And I'm gonna add it to my solution. Okay, it's open at my side. So let me add this one. Okay, so this specific application is added into my uh, solution. Okay, as you can see here in apps, it says one. You can add multiple applications as well over here. For example, if I want to add one more application for exporting, right? For example, sometimes in your prod environment, you will have multiple applications to be imported, right? In that way, you can select any other applications which you have and you can keep adding into your solution, okay? Like you can see the count has increased, increased to two. So since in my case, I want only one application to be exported to a different environment, I'm removing this from my solution. Okay, so now as you can see, I have one of the one of the flow also that is associated to my uh, application, which I want it to export. Okay, so I'm going to cloud flows and I'm saying add from existing. Okay, and we have to go to the automation tab whenever we have to add a flow, right? From here, I can add a cloud flow, and here also it's same like you know from data was and outside data was, and this is how my one of my Power Automate that is associated. So I'm going to add this. Okay. So as you can see, my cloud flow is also added over here and you can add uh, as many as uh, flows you want. Same as the application. Okay. We do have other options like co-pilots. And if you see, we have much more uh, options here, like custom connectors. Also, we can add to solutions, right? Right. We can add dashboards, reports, right? Uh, more driven apps, pages. Okay. And there's one more important, uh, a uh, topic among these is that is uh, environment variable right if you see there's something called environment variable so let me tell you a quick brief about environment variable okay so whenever i add some environment variable to you know solution and export and import it right so what it will do I and mean, how can it will be available for uh, you know us is for example i'll give you an example of i'm creating a application where i have a link in my button where i'm with that link i'm navigating people to so and so uh you know site of the data source of mine okay 
now whenever i am uh, exporting my solution and importing it to different environment right that environment might end up having that uh, link to different data source right that is present in then that an specific environment correct so at that time an environment variable will be very helpful because it will be you know we don't have to manually edit the application after uh, you know importing it as a solution and change the link instead while importing we can directly you know update the environment variable in the solution so that it will be it will be directly added to my application okay so we'll have a brief discussion about uh, environment variable in my separate video so let's continue by uh, exporting and importing the solution currently okay as you can see we have added one of the cloud flow and one of my application okay so basically in a simple language solution will act as a container right in that container we can include as many as things or objects we want right for example application and flows and we can export it now i'm gonna publish all my customizations so that it creates a solution for me since we have only one app and one flow it should not take much time for creating a solution okay so it is published now i'm going back as you can see my solution has been created over here okay so now i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna export the solution and if you can see there are two options over here that is managed and unmanaged right so what is the difference about among these is managed solution is nothing but whenever we create a solution as managed and import uh, into different environment as managed that means it should not be you know we should not be making any customizations customizations there like you know it will not allow a user to customize or uh, change anything in the solutions whenever you create a managed solution okay it will be locked for us whereas unmanaged solution can accept all the customizations we want right so in what scenario we can use this is for example whenever we are moving from development to uat environment right that time we'll export and import it as a unmanaged solution why because at uat environment stakeholders will come up with a lot of changes a lot of feedback right according to that we can make changes and we can customize the application flows everything as per our requirements right so at the time unmanaged uh, will be advisable because we can change anything and when we are moving from UAT to prod environment, right? Because prod, it should not be touched and it should not be changed anything, right? So at that time, we can export and import it as a managed solution from UAT to prod. Okay. So this is the only difference from between manage and manage. There's one more option over here that is called run solution checker on export. So this option will give us whether uh, is are there any errors while our export is happening okay so i'm going to select as unmanaged and export it here we'll get the status whether it's exported or not okay so while it's exporting uh there can be uh, a question um, uh, you know in your mind saying that there are there is one more method where we can directly export and import the application right so, you know directly export the application and create a zip file and import that zip file in the different uh, environment right we can do that but it is not advisable because we end up changing a lot of xml and json content to uh, change the data sources right while exporting and importing instead this is much recommended uh, approach why because we can include uh, you know as you can see solution acts as a container so you can include as many as flows as you want you know custom connectors we want uh data was tables we want right copilots everything so we can directly export it as a solution and import it into different environments so now it's exported successfully i'm gonna download this my solution has been downloaded and i'm changing my environment to import it into the another one i'm going to my power pages developer environment so here i have some default solutions here i'm gonna import it browse i'm gonna select my solution demo and i'm gonna say next 
and import so as you can see it's currently importing my solution okay my solution is imported successfully as you can see solution demo is already is already available in my solutions uh, window right so now let's see whether my app and flow is available over here right i'm going to the apps if you can see that app of mine is just now modified there is 38 seconds and it is available in my environment that is pop is developer okay so well guys uh, that is all about it I hope uh, you all are aware now about the process. Thank you and keep watching my channel.